Oh, shoot. I'm not even the right way. My bad. Give me like two seconds. What's up? Y'all, I've been stressed. All right, I'm about to head to the gym. So I'm about to mix my pre-workout and talk to you guys. Because obviously I didn't post last week. Um, what's up? I didn't post last week. And um, I was supposed to post today. But I need to go to the gym. Like that's important because I fell off for like two weeks. Like I fell off off. So... Um, or at least a week and a half. Don't mind us. I just had something in here. You're really pretty. Oh my gosh. Stop it because girl, no, I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to say all that. I'm not like, don't think I have a self-esteem issue, but I'm just saying like, I look a mess, but thank you. I'm going to just take the compliment because I hate when people do that. People as in me, you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much. You're beautiful. <laughs> Y'all, I was stressed. I was stressed. Oh my god, I was so stressed. Like I was so stressed that I ate. <laughs> um, all right, let me just show y'all. I guess I don't know what this video is gonna be about. This is like a filler because I haven't really talked to y'all. So boom, let me just restart. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm mixing my pre workout right now. I thought it would be okay for me to talk to y'all a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I'm mixing in here. So y'all, I've been in the gym like a lot except for this last week and a half because of this pcs was the devil the pcs was the devil like y'all don't understand regardless of whether we signed up for it or not like military y'all know what we be going through man regardless of whether we signed up for it or not it'd be a lot like it'd be a lot all right so that's hydrate these are my little electrolytes there's no calories so like Forget all that Powerade, Gatorade, even though I love that. Get you some hydrate, okay? Get you some hydrate. So, next is my BCAAs. Y'all, this just be helping me. I ain't even gonna go into any type of spiel about this because it's gotta go in there. I don't be having energy. I be tired, yo. Let me see what the hell y'all saying. How often do airmen have to move bases? Um, I don't even know how to answer that. It just depends. I know some people that have been on their base, like the last base I came from, I know some people that have been there their whole term, and their term was six years. I wouldn't say that's the best thing, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? It depends on your job, too. Some people can only go to certain bases. I know it was like that at my base. They had two choices, you feel what I'm saying? But then if you're not, you know, sometimes, I don't know, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, basically, let me see. It depends because you have options of pushing the button. It depends on your job. It could be, two, I wouldn't say two years, maybe like three years, four years, five years, six years. I don't really know. I don't really know. Like, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, that's a whole nother thing. We'll get into that later. Let me see. So where are you PCS into? Ah, Tadra, honey. And for anyone else that wants to know that question, why don't y'all follow me on Instagram? You would know. You would know. See, I'm sorry. I have nothing to say there. We got to do better, okay? So people, I don't know if people know what base I'm at, but they definitely know. Or they, I think they might know, maybe. Because I'd be like secret. <laughs> you think you know where I am, but you really don't know where I'm at. I'd be doing that. But um, I think people know where I'm at. They probably don't know what base I'm at. I'm not just going to come out and say what base I'm at, but... In this area, it really don't matter. We got like 50 bases here anyway. So, girl, you got to be following me on the, on the Grammy. I was feeling real open that day. You feel me? You feel me? Let me see. I hope you feel better about yourself. Shipping, if you can say, how were you PCS2? Hey, I completely know the feelings that you're going through. Oh, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. I'm probably going to make a video. But, y'all, I was going through like... I don't know, like, it might be weird for y'all to understand or, like, not understand, but, like, y'all see me and you're like, nah, not not her, not P, not Paige. No, y'all, I was going through a depression. Like, I was crying my whole way here. <laughs> like, I cried my whole way here. Um, when I first got here the next day, I was crying. Like, 
I think, and I wasn't crying when I was talking to my esthetician. So boom, I was feeling so depressed that I literally was like, I need to do something for myself. Like I need to do something that I normally do that I haven't done in a while, which is like get a facial. So it was Sunday and I was just calling people. And this lady all the way, I almost said where, <laughs> I should have been on Instagram. This lady like an hour and a half away, you know, told me that she would come in because something in her spirit just told her that she need to come. Um, I think she just heard the sadness in my voice. Like I was so sad, y'all, like I was sad. And it's not even sad, like, I don't know where I was going with that. Y'all know how I do. But it's not even like sad as in, I don't know. I don't really know what type of sad it was. Because the base, I'm pretty sure, like, my dorm room is an upgrade from the dorm room that I had before. Like, my last bed was, like, a full size. So, they're like, don't let you have a boo. Especially, I'm 5'10". I don't know if y'all know. I'm tall as hell. Like, me and him on there, boom, too much. Um, Here, I'm pretty sure it's got to be, like, a king or a good queen. You know what I'm saying? My little walk-in closet, my mirrors, you know what I'm saying? So, I can see myself everywhere. All my drawers. My walk-in little bathroom, because, you know, what else would it be? Because it's a bathroom, you feel what I'm saying? Everything in there, all my little mirrors, toilet. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that thing is, but trying to the little thing that you hold. Yeah, all of that in there. Mm -hmm. All of that in there. Not just that, um, I was a little worried. Because, like, the last space I was at, it was... Now, every time I get on here, I just get stupid. Okay. <laughs> you know what the two rooms? What is that? A dupe I don't really know right now I can't think but it was two of us and we shared a bathroom and it wasn't bad we had a lot more space but you know the bed was kind of smaller um oh and I hated the fact that I had to walk y'all I used to at my old base which was fine I didn't mind it you know what I'm saying you don't really have time to hate what you have if you don't know nothing else you get what I'm saying it was way better than tech school um, I wouldn't mind like if I was in a room like that again, that's not what I'm saying. But like back then, if I had to cook, like when I would be cooking in the kitchen, like that was me walking down a couple flight of stairs, going back and forth, grabbing pots and pans, grabbing forks and all that stuff. Like that's what we have to do. Not just that, if you want to wash your clothes, um, literally I was on the third floor and I wasn't always in shape, you know what I'm saying? So like that, that was a lot. That was a lot on me. That was a lot on my knees. So that was a thing. However, here, you walk out of here, I'm not gonna show y'all right now, like maybe if I record, you know, once I talk to my roommates, you know, I just wanna respect everybody's privacy, plus someone might be naked out there, you really don't know, it's a room full of women. But, so I have four people in here right now, so that was different, so at first I was, I was like crying about that, I was like, oh, this is gonna be terrible, cause I know I don't really like females, but they are so cool, like it was great. But, we got our refrigerator, we got our own mini fridge in here, that's what y'all on top of. Um, we have our own little laundry thing, so like we could wash, I could literally walk outside of my room and wash laundry about a good seven steps away. Not just that, a good five steps away is the whole countertop. I got my dish washer sink thing. It's the same, but I'm gonna call it dishwasher sink because it's way better than what I came from. So boom, we got that. We got the little countertop. We got our little stove built into the counter. Look at this. They included a little lamp. You probably can't see it. Like, I don't even know. Look at that little lamp. Like, oh. I be touching it and it be changing lights like I don't know this was a whole upgrade but I was still sad and I'm pretty sure like I had to look it up it's just post move depression like basically what I'm saying is when I was going around the area like it was just so much change that I was like whoa this is a lot you know not knowing what my leadership is gonna be like I'm just gonna pray and manifest that everything is gonna go good but like not knowing that, not knowing what to expect here, like, I don't know. Like that was the first time in life, like, not the first time in life, but the first time in life in a long time that I felt lonely. I don't get lonely. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't get lonely. And when I first got here, like I was lonely and I don't know why I felt like that. And I didn't like that feeling. It was terrible. Like, and then there's a culture shock cause where I came from, I don't know, bro. It was different. <laughs> it was different. And then, like, I don't know. You got freaking tropical trees everywhere. There's water everywhere. There's fucking yachts. I mean, I was driving. There's like eight, nine yachts just sitting there. Like, where? <laughs> where do we do that? I mean, the sushi was delicious. I'm gonna say. So, like, it's a, the area is everything. Like, 
someone like me need to be in this area it's just the fact of the change my change was fast like my change whew, my pcs was fast y'all when y'all found out i found out okay <laughs> like that's literally how that went so i don't know let me see something girl we missed you i missed y'all i'm gonna try to upload as soon as i like drink this because as soon as i drink this i'm getting off like because it's gonna start working and a lot of times I just sit around and I don't go for a while and then I'll be tired at the gym and I'll take forever. But um, I'm going to try to upload tomorrow because it's like what? I don't even know what time it is right now. Why is that saying 10 o'clock? It's not 10 o'clock, is it? It ain't no damn 10 o'clock. I don't know what's wrong with that little lamp. It's not 10 o'clock. What time is it? It can't be 10 o'clock. I hope not it's 10 you a damn lie it's not 10 o'clock no it's not it is not 10 o'clock it can't be 10 o'clock 8 45 here yeah what is that off of dang you know and i really don't know what time zone am i in Six forty-five, six forty-five, nine forty-five. I'm pretty sure I'm in that that range. Okay, Taliban Mo, where are you at? That it's ten o'clock because I'm pretty sure like I gotta be at least eight forty-five or nine forty-five. What is y'all? Is y'all Eastern Standard Time? Like what, what times on y'all end? This is terrible. Hey girl, hey, you're so lucky. The Marine Corps needs to take notes. We literally share rooms that have one bathroom, no kitchen. <sighs> I'm sorry. You know what's crazy? I'm gonna talk about something real quick. So I normally don't come on here talking about military stuff because I think I'm all militaryed out. You know what I'm saying? Being that I shared my whole life with y'all um, when I first started this, but I literally was just having a question. Scott Air Force Base. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I thought that was somebody else. I'm in Wakanda. I'm sorry. Give me two seconds on the topic. Wakanda. Okay talking about some it's 10 o'clock okay anyways so i was talking to somebody <laughs> anyway so i was talking to somebody and they were talking about <laughs> going to the army okay so if you are here like are you in the military are you in the army air force are you like one to be in the army air force navy marines because she wanted to join the army and her boyfriend who is my friend you know she's my friend too her boyfriend, who's my friend, he's in the Army National Guard, and he was trying to tell her to join the Air Force. And this is not to bash anyone. But sh this is what I'm going to tell you, because I'm here for everyone. We are all military. We all, you know, fight the good fight. We really do. But what I'm going to tell y'all, same thing that happened to me, just speaking off of um, experience. I used to want to be in the um, National Guard, so like the Army. So didn't even know it was... This is back when I didn't know. Didn't even know it was attached uh, to the Army. But wanted to be in the National Guard. And when I tell y'all, there was vets, like older vets, like been in, okay, like way back when. They were warning me to not go to the Army. Like, what I'm trying to say without saying it, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with other branches. I'm just trying to tell y'all that before y'all join a branch, I don't care if it's the Air Force, the Navy, Coast Guard, the Army, whatever active national guard reserve you need to do your research i know a lot of y'all be wanting to hurry up and get out of where y'all at you know i had that little syndrome going on but y'all need to do y'all research ask people how they really feel about the branches that they're in what you need to ask you know it's one thing about that education thing no you need to ask how do they treat their troops what are their living conditions I don't really think you hear me. <laughs> I don't. I really don't think you hear me. I might have to actually make a video on this. Y'all need to start asking those questions because and it's it's not y'all fault because you know, especially if you don't really know military life, you know, I didn't have a bunch of people that were in the military, you know, before I got in here. But like, you know, so I didn't understand. But bitch, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to be a friend to you. You need to start asking questions. Because y'all come in, and most people that join the um, the military, it's not all people, but y'all running from something. Not all of y'all. 
some of y'all yes y'all want to fight the good fight some of y'all is strictly education some of y'all want to be a part of something bigger but a lot of people join because it's like i don't like the area that i'm in i don't like what i'm doing here i feel like i could be doing more i got all this drama here or i got stuff going on i want to get away from my family i want to get away from these people here a lot of people are running from certain things and wherever they are or wherever they were and they join and then those other things kind of go into it too you know what i'm saying they're all like factors so whoever gives them the one two that's like oh okay well here we're the coast guard we can get you out at this date you know we're the air force we may like our living conditions might be a little better you know what i'm saying but we might not be able to get you out for another year out you i know it sounds bad in some situations you just got to take that on the chin but i'm telling you please start asking questions y'all literally army here we got to talk see pay attention to the comments bro i'm not bashing anybody it's like everybody's different but you gotta be real with yourself what type of female are you what type of male are you unicorn alien don't care what you is what are you you know what i'm saying what type of personality do you have can you take somebody talking to you a certain way because i ain't gonna say you're gonna get talked to some types of ways especially when you go through basic training but i'm talking about your whole term are you okay are you okay <laughs> The way they do life in the Army is way different than how we do in the Air Force. As far as... Look, I'm trying to, look, I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying, let me come closer to you because I don't think you really understand it. Um, and I'm not even saying warning you as in I don't want you to join the Army. I'm not saying that. I'm warning you as in I don't want you to be blindsided. Some people like that, that lifestyle. They like that, but... I don't want you coming to me saying, why did I tell me this, this, and that? You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the living conditions are different. Like, how y'all see in the um, comments. Like, how I'm saying, like, I live in here. There are other branches that don't live like that. And if you're okay with that and it's not about that, then yes, go for those other branches. Like I said, I wanted to join um, the National Guard at first. And then, you know, that would have been the Army. And then I think my second choice... <laughs> I was young um was the marines then my third choice was the navy fourth choice was this the air force and i am so glad honey honey i'm so glad mm. i just want to thank god for all those people whether they were air force army i ain't really talked to no um, coast guard people i don't really see coast guard people a lot but it didn't matter who it was they told me, they said, go Air Force. And if you're not going to go Air Force anything, then you need to go Navy. But there was nothing else that was ever said after. <laughs> there was nothing else that was ever said. But I respect all branches. I'm not the one that's going to... I just want to emphasize that because I don't... You know, everybody's different. I don't like when people, like, dog the branches. I like to be real about certain stuff, but I don't like when people dog the branches. And I also don't like when people dog the jobs. Don't ever let somebody put down your job. Regardless of what branch you're in, like, I don't like doing that. Everybody's different. Everybody has different values. You might have family members that have been in a certain branch and you're trying to carry on that legacy and that's fine. But I'm just telling you, think about the legacy that you're going to have. That's all I'm saying. All I'm trying to tell you. Period. Okay. So, woo, y'all can tell I'm passionate about that because I've seen some people mm -mm, get in some situations. Even with going to the Air Force, like, they wanted... They thought about active, but they stayed reserved because of a guy, mm. a female. And now they hate, they hate it there. They hate it there. And I'm just like, shit, that shit, that it be happening. You know what I'm saying? It be happening. Let me drink the rest of this. Did I put everything? I put creatine in there. I put my BCAAs. Yeah, yeah. I ain't tasting. Oh, I ran out of that other stuff. It's okay. Ooh. Let me see what y'all saying. Okay, Chrissy Lee say she want to join the National Guard Army, but she don't know. Okay, like what's stopping you? Let us know. I'm joining the Air Force, but dang, how bad is the Army? Look, I didn't say the Army was bad. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just telling you to ask people how their experience is. When you have people from a certain branch telling other people, don't come to my brand you need to like ask them why everybody has different experiences but you just got to see how you want to live how do you want to be talked to how do you want to live what are your interests like you need to go based off of that that's all i'm gonna say 
I'm trying to help you. Okay. I wish I knew. Yes, too late. Army here. Story time with Tay. Why are you in the um? Are you in the military? I didn't know that. I know you missed seven. Yeah. I do miss seven. Actually, thanks <laughs> for bringing that up. Seven got me this little bear. It's supposed to be him. The bear actually has an army uniform, but it's okay because it's still like OCP, so <laughs> I accept it. But it's something he would do, and like it's in my car. I drive with it all the time. That's my baby, man. Seven was my G, like that was my G. I do miss him. But pressing, cause I'm not about to get all depressed <laughs> and thinking about ooh, where I came from. Okay, USMC. I'm not good with acronyms. Okay, that's one thing. I don't know when I'm gonna get good with acronyms, but the military be acronym overload, boy. <laughs> acronym overload. I don't know what that means. Cause I just thought of four different things reading that. So you just gonna have to, y'all don't put no acronyms on here. <laughs> I don't know, like I literally get, oh, US. Oh, okay, got it. See, that's how I'm telling y'all. I don't, mm mm. Because I was thinking about something so other. I don't even know if that's classified information for me to tell y'all what I was thinking about. But let me see. I don't know if it's the right branch. I want to join the military regardless. But how is the living conditions in each one? Girl, people who are in the army, how are your living conditions? Would you like to answer her? Y'all know better than me. And then I could do a comparison. Um, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let them okay I'm gonna let them talk to you because I ain't saying nothing because I really don't know I just know what people tell me and I do know you know what I can tell you to do go to an air force base and then go to a um I'm trying to think see when I was in tech school it really like there was some light shit on everything because it was army marines navy it was all of us even the coast guard we saw like one it was like one person literally and that was the only time i ever seen somebody in the coast guard but um when we would go through their um bays or platoons whatever everyone calling them when we would go through where they were it was just different like it was different um our stuff was different than theirs I don't think some of them, and this ain't everybody, like, this is just where I was at. I don't think they had carpet, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, everything was, like, jumbled together, like, more like, I don't know. I just feel like their laundry room and our laundry room didn't look the same. It was just a lot, like, I just really don't even know how to explain it. I would tell you, like, someone told me, go to an Air Force base and then go to, like, an Army base and do a comparison. But I'm sure, like, I don't know. I really don't know what to say. You got to talk to somebody army. Let me see. Oh, I got to do my taxes. Yes, you still have to file taxes in the military. Absolutely, you have to file taxes in the military. When you join, like, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing. Like, they pay attention to that. I think they pay, don't they pay attention to your credit before you join? Like, a lot of that has to be in order before you join. Literally. Can you do a video on your meal prep snacks and sweet cravings? See, I was working on that. Yes, I will do that if you guys are interested. Um, it's just, y'all know with this move, everything was crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, I was getting depressed. Um, I was crying. I ain't going to do nothing. I don't have Wi-Fi right now. <laughs> so, well, I do now. That's why I'm on here. Because my roommate, she's so sweet. Um, she let me um, use their Wi-Fi or whatever. But right before this, I didn't have Wi-Fi. <clears throat> oh jesus i almost just took my life um this straw is ass you know nothing's really coming through i just like watching it come you know I, I want one of those straws where can i get the straws that go over your eyeballs and kind of like go over that's really what i was trying to simulate here but hmm it's not working yeah as soon as i get my life i'll definitely post those things because I have to give y'all an update. It's just I fell off that last week. And I just wasn't. I picked up some bad habits too. That I'll talk about maybe. Yes, they ran my credit. Which I had to get a waiver for. Yeah. Like for Army Korea is the hit spot. Oh yeah. I heard anybody in Korea is like going crazy. Like I did hear that. 
for each brand just really depends on where you go mm -hmm. do you have to share barracks with someone in the air force um i mean like right now like this is my room my bathroom um but everybody's different because my last base wasn't like this this is my room my bathroom my um closet and there's three other people that have the same like layout as me the only thing we share is our um i guess it'll be like our common area so like our fridge we still have many fridges in our room but there's a big fridge um you know a bunch of cabinets there's a laundry thing outside so like little um our washers i don't know like they the way they look they're like they have to have their own name but i just don't know what they are but those are out there i think it's like three of them so we could like put our stuff in there and wash our clothes um and then there's like the let me see Hold on. I was about to show y'all. I'm scared that someone's gonna come out of their room with some, with some shit, you know what I mean? But, you know, the little countertop, we got like two little plates on the counter and they're built into the counter and you know, but I didn't have that at my last base, but that's how that setup is. So I hope that answers the question. At my last base, it was, I had like my room, all my drawers, my microwave. Oh, we have that in here too. My microwave, all that. But what was separate was the common area. So like, um, like if you wanted to cook or things like that, like that was separate. We did have our own refrigerators, that was cool. But if you wanted to cook, you had to grab your stuff and take it to wherever. Or if you wanted to wash your clothes, you had to grab your stuff and take it to wherever. So it just depends. I can't, I've never had to sleep in a room with someone besides in tech school. Like, I'm pretty sure after tech school, unless you're like on a deployment, like really for the Air Force, you're not going to be in the room with someone else. You get what I'm saying? You might like be bunking all together. Like I have four roommates, almost like college dorm style. You know what I'm saying? But you're not just going, they're not going to be just somebody up in here with me. Like that was dead in tech school. So I don't really know how the army is. Oh, so Moth. Ice cream is one way. Is one any branch with Navy support? You in Tampa? Hey, thanks for your service, score. Thank you, Party City. Yeah, I heard Korea is that place. I don't know what y'all be doing up in Korea. I don't know what's going on in Korea, but I didn't heard about it. Like literally, I think I'm gonna add another scoop of some pre-workout. That's what I didn't add. I was over here wondering, I think, did I add that? I don't think I, I'm sorry, I'm dramatic, y'all. But like, that's a huge thing for me. I'm gonna pre-work out, I just don't know where it's at. Oh, it's back here. Maybe I did add it. Yeah, cause that's why it would be pink. But I'm gonna add some more. Then my birthday coming up. I forgot my birthday was even coming up. Like, I've been so out of it. My birthday is literally on February 17th. Like, I just remembered that, like, today. What's today? Yeah, my birthday's on the 17th. My birthday might be this week. I really don't know. Like, I know what day my birthday's on, but I don't know. It could be this weekend. I really don't know. Well, it might be next weekend. I don't know. I ain't even had time to really think about my birthday. I don't know where I'm going to go. I know we got a four-day this week. So, that's another thing about this base. Um, we got a four-day. We have four days all the time. I'm hearing so that's a plus you get know what I'm saying you said it's Monday yeah. I hate Monday my birthday always on a Monday or a Sunday like for what or Thursday I don't know that's weird but yeah dang this live was only supposed to be like five minutes <laughs> 30 minutes later that's how I do it so yeah y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all want specific videos, what y'all looking for, uh, anything like that, because I'm going to have some videos coming in. I'm about to go to the gym in a little bit once I finish this, but um, I'm trying to see what else. Why are they texting me? Go away. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, Go watch my story on YouTube. And let me know when y'all want that video because I'm just about to post that video. I haven't, the company, I've been trying to get in touch with them. That's the only thing about these companies that's overseas. Like, it'd be hard to get in touch with them. But 
I had sent them the link. I might just post it. But, um, yeah. I don't know. Just hit me up in the comments. I'm trying to see. I'm hoping to get stationed overseas. So yeah, what have we learned today? post move depression is real. I will talk about that later. If you fall off of your workout routine, it's okay. People like me fall off all the time. You just get back up and start doing it again. You know what I'm saying? Get back in motion. Um, three, do your research before you join any branch. I don't care if it's the Air Force, Navy, um, Army, whoever. Do your research. Talk to people before you make a decision. Basically, do not just make a decision because you want to hurry up and get out of there and someone's offering you the next best thing. I don't care who it is, even for the Air Force, because some people that got screwed that way too. Just do your research before you do anything. Again, go watch my story. Let me know when you guys want me to post that video, because if y'all want me to post it tomorrow, I will try to do so. And thank you for watching. I'm sorry this this is long, but y'all know how I do, so yeah, I'll check out another one.